A different knowledge branch is stored in the layers of DNA of each gotra. The discriminatory community system itself was imposed on us by invaders. Please understand, the Gayatri Mantra, which is chanted by all the Brahmins, is revealed by a Chatriya, Vishwamitra. The Vyasa, who is worshipped by all the Brahmins, is the son of a fisherwoman, Shudra. If we wanted the Brahmanical superiority to be established, don't we have that much of intelligence just to change the history? Instead of fisherwoman, we could have said one great Brahmin lady, Brahmin virgin lady, was sitting in the boat along with the fisherwoman. Vyasa was born for that lady. How much time would it have taken for us to change the history, two lines? We were not interested in Brahmanical supremacy. We were simply straight. Please understand the Adi Shaiva Brahmins are respected by the whole Brahmin community because they take care, maintain the temple, and do the seva to the gods, goddesses directly. They have to worship every day the saints of Hindu tradition. In that saints, at least 20 of them are Dalits. Dalit brothers and sisters, Hinduism never alienated you. You have been taught wrong history and you've been poisoned. This whole thing actually needs to be revisited. The Gotra system was created to properly protect and keep the Y chromosome and avoid genetic disorders. To avoid the genetical disorders and to protect and preserve Y chromosome and above all, to protect all the major knowledge branches. Many of the knowledge branches have been preserved in the DNA. Our ability to be in tune with others and existence depends entirely upon how we conduct ourselves. It depends on the priorities we choose in life. What if we do not choose? What if we accept things as they happen to us? It's time to talk about renunciation. Renunciation is not running away from life. Renunciation is flowing with life, without resistance. We complete today's segment with a truth from the source. Paramashiva is not research material to be analyzed. He's an experience to be enjoyed.